Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will discuss that how can we pass the model data that we have seen in part number 8 to our backbone JS views. In our previous video session, we have seen the video lectures of backbone views, backbone JS events, as well as we have seen the introduction part of models in backbone, as well as in the starting part of backbone.js application we have seen about the working principle of backbone.js architecture so guys if you are a beginner from this video session then i strongly recommend you to go to our youtube channel search backbone.js tutorials and read from there you can find several resources that we have provided from scratch of backbone.js tutorial so now in this video session we will pass our model data to our backbone.js views so this is our file where we are going to code okay and uh, you need to pass guys the three basic files that a backbone.js application actually wants so let's create our views Now, what we did, we have created our view for the model. Here is the constructor method for this view. And here we have instantiated model view by and with the help of an object. So, mView basically represents this model view and model view is the backbone view. So, basically guys, this is the basic syntax to create a view in backbone. If you are wondering about how to create a view in backbone.js then we have made video session for this also. So just we want that we need to pass some model data to this view. So before passing data let's save your file, go to browser and let's check that file. Just refresh this page, just click on inspect, just click on console, as you can see we have created our view okay so just we need to pass some model data to this view so before passing data let's make a random method for that Just I have modified the code section into the breaking points of render function. I have separated the codes of initialize method by the help of render method and this render method I have called under the initialize method. And by default when we create the object of our view, by default the initialize method will call. Upon calling it call render method where we have put our console log message. So let's pass our model into this view. Let's create a model for that. We have created our first model here 
as you can see this is the very basic rule guys to create a model to create a model you need to extend backbone.model this is the constructor method which is defined under backbone.model in slice and here we have created the object of model okay guys so let's just check this just go to browser and refresh this page here as we can see model is also created and we also created so we have created the two sections so far first we have created our view we have created our model now let's pass some data to this model For this model, we have created three different attributes. As you can see, the first attribute is name, YouTube, and team. Three attributes we have passed to this model. So just save your file, go to browser, and refresh this page. Once the model is created, once the model is created, all these attributes actually set into the attribute section. Let me check that. Just type app model and press enter just click on that as you can see under this attribute section we can see three different properties are there first name team and the YouTube these are the properties which we have set for this model here so this is not the single way to pass the data to this model if you want to pass these data to this model then we can also pass from that just cut from there or you can say just comment this code and write these sections of code under this so by the help of this syntax we can also slice our model with the data just save your file go to browser and refresh this page Just model has created type F model, the object of that, press enter. On clicking on this section, as you can see, we have created three different attributes for this. Okay, so you have two options for creating or setting the values for your model. First, either you can use set method to set the attributes properties, or you can pass as a constructor method here. So just we have created our model. So to see the values of our model, just type at model.2json. This method actually types all the values properties from the attribute section. So just type enter. As you can see, we can now access all the values from attribute section where we have passed name, team and YouTube. So by using 2.json method, we can retrieve all the values from this attribute section. So if you want the values of like name, if you want the name value from its attribute section, just type app model dot get method and here you have to pass the key name. Suppose we want the name of that, just type name, press enter. As you can see we have retrieved the name sections of this model. Now we want app model dot get suppose team. Here is the team. So these are the values guys we can retrieve by using get method. 2JSON method is also important because it retrieves all the values from its attribute section. And here is the set method. So this is the very basic syntax you have to keep in your mind guys while defining any model into your view. Now we are going to pass these values to our view. To pass this model means we need to pass our created model of this to our view just copy of that
all we have done. We have passed our F model to this view. What is F model? F model is the object that we have created with our model. So just we have passed that. To retrieve the values of this F model to our view, we have to write this dot model to JSON. We have seen the use of to JSON method, which retrieves all the values from its attribute section. This dot model actually refers to this model which we have passed into its constructor. So just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. Once you refresh, you will see all the values we have actually passed to our model all comes into our view, name, YouTube and team. So these are the values which indicates here. So to retrieve the values into the view from model, just you need to write dot to JSON. It gives all the values of your model. So just we want suppose team from this JSON array to our view. So just we need to write console.log dot get method and here we have to pass key value. So just save your file, go to browser and refresh this page. As we can see, we have retrieved the values of team from this JSON array. So this is the way guys that you can pass this model to your view. This is not the single way to actually to pass a model into your view. Just get rid of this. Just pass here as model. So here we have passed app model directly to this method. By the help of this model, we can retrieve all its values and also the key value. So just save your file. Here as we can see, output will remain same. So there are two ways to pass model to your view. First, either you have you should pass model into this or you should pass under this. So these are the two methods guys that you actually pass model to your backbone views. And also we have seen how we create our model, how we set the values and also how we retrieve the values from model. So this is the very basic example guys that I actually explained about the model declaration, views declaration as well as how can we pass the model data to this view. So let's make the review of the code what we have seen so far. If you want to create model in Backbone, then there are two different ways to create so. First, you need to use Backbone.model to extend the Backbone model. Either you can set the values to a model by passing into the constructor directly in the form of key value pair. If you don't want to this, then you can use the alternative way to pass with the set method. Here you have to pass the key value pair. So this is how we can actually pass our data to the backbone model. If you want to pass the model data to view, there are several ways. First, we have seen the use of our created model. The object of that, we have to pass this object to our view. As you can see, by the help of this model object, we can retrieve our value like this. This dot, here is the attribute that we have defined. We should use to JSON method to retrieve all the values of this model. If you want to retrieve any specific value, then we have to use the get method with the key name. What should the key name? Key name which we have given here as you can see in the name of key1 and key2. These are the key value pair. After passing key, we get the value of that. If you don't want to pass the model section here, then you have the alternative way to pass your model in the form of its constructor. Just pass your model which we have created in the previous step. Here is the model. Just copy this object, pass into the view. After passing, you should access all the values to your view. 
so these are the methods guys that actually you have to keep in your mind while using model to backbone views so by the help of this video session guys we have learned that how create our model how we create our views also we have seen how can we actually pass our model data to view in next video session we will see that how will we pass our model data to our templates in backbone chase if you are wondering about what is template in backbone chase then i had made also videos for that please check our backbone chase tutorial from scratch from online web tutor so guys if you have any query about this video session then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so guys i think you like this video session then please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day